Hello guys, this is all from Open Source Channel. Welcome to a new episode on how to. And as you can see from the screen here, we're going to review the latest WordPress template Astra. Not so long ago, WP Astra released the latest version with the ability to edit and create new headers and footers. I'm going to show you again how to install it easily, the free version. Exactly, the header and the footer editor also comes with the free version. And this is what I'm going to show you. Now, without any delay, let's go and have a look. I already got here the basic installed. This is the one that comes with the latest uh, WordPress template. I'm going to themes. As you can see, here we got the 2021. I'm going to add new and I'm going to search for WP Astra. I'm going to click install and I'm going to activate it. Let's go and refresh and let's have a look what is going on. This is the actual WordPress Astra. We're going back. Let's go to the actual dashboard. We're going to dismiss this. I'm going to click on plugin. I'm going to add a new plugin. And I'm going to add Astra. As you can see, you find a lot of plugin from the creator of Astra that is Brainstorm. All right. So let's go back and let's have a look. You got the widgets, Elementor, Editor and Footer. Again, Brainstorm, this is the old one. We don't need this for this particular one. But this is what I want to ask, you know, I came up for is the Elementor, Beaver Builder, Gutenberg and Breezy Templates Starter. I'm going to install it and I'm going to import it. Before I activate, I also want to do the Gutenberg Blocks. I think it's a great new plugin from Brainstorm. Once it's been activated, I'm going to click the starter templates and activate it. And once I am inside here, I'm going to also activate the Gutenberg one. I'm going to remove this for now. And as you can see here, we got blocks and it looks like all of them are already been activated. Back to the dashboard. Everything looks perfectly. Don't forget you can add or remove any of those by clicking the screen options as you can see and you could do whatever okay now let's go back to appearance starter templates and we're going to create a fast website i'm going to click on gutenberg and i'm going to create the first one comes read really around uh, let's have a look something minimal let's do this one here mountain and I'm going to import the complete site and I'm going to click on import here we go the import is complete I'm going to view the site I'm going to delete this one as I don't need it anymore let me also delete this one here and as you can see a ready-made website has been created in no time ready for you to edit and get started but of course we are not here for this let's go back i'm going to click on this one here and now i'm going to refresh now if i go to customize i can start to customize the website let's go back and let's go to the astra option back to the wordpress and as you can see once you are in the astra options you're gonna click use the new ether and footer builder you can use the old one or the new one we just activated the new one go to customize and as you can see you go here the ether and the footer but again we go now the builder this is where we can actually start to look and do it as you can see we got the logo here we got the primary menu and we got the bottom on the right here, the button. And then we got an extra column, okay? We got another one on the top that is not being populated. Again, you can change it as you wish. We got some customizable already. We can put another but button here or you can uh, create this with the account. If you want to put account on top there, you can add another one. You can put your social media. And again, you can actually change where you want to show it, as you can see here. 
but just by clicking you can actually add those widgets you can actually add again for example a search and you can actually put it wherever you want it the same thing happens with the lower tier here you can add a secondary menu you can add HTML or widgets whatever you want by click on the widgets then you can choose the type of the widgets you want to put by clicking add widgets for example and this is what is available so let's go back here it's very simple and to be honest anyone can actually use it that's how simple it is of course you can put everything on the right here if you wanted to and if you click on this one here it gives you the possibility to change the size as you can see here and if you go to the design you can actually choose for example the border the color of the border or you can have no border that's up to you you can have the spacing color of the image padding and margins and this works for every single one of them it's all the same don't forget you can change the type for example if you want it for a mobile tablets or desktop as you can see here it starts with desktop then you can change around let's go back as you can see we add all this here again easy to remove by clicking on the X and once you're done all you got to do is publish we're going to refresh nothing will change of course because we actually removed it if you want to see how it looks it's very simple let's go to the plus here let's add the social media again here we go I'm going to publish go to CMS refresh and we should have the as you can see the social media icon on top If you click on that you can add the social media you can add more social media icons if you want for example you can add LinkedIn Vimeo don't forget of course to publish once you're done to see the uh, the changes you just need to refresh and as you can see out uh, here you can show the labels if you wanted to you go to the design you can change the icon size the icon spacing the background the color the lot now, as you can see we're going to change the color now this is the custom then you can have the official that looks much much better than the the color one again it depends on the type of the design you're doing you can go to you know for example you want everything in white sorry about this uh, let's go back to custom I'm going to the color and I'm going to choose the icon color white and on over you can change the color to any one you know any color you want so let's go to the blue one so we are a little bit around this color here here we go let's do this here there we go and I'm gonna publish it go back I'm going to refresh it and as you can see now looks beautiful fantastic and I think this latest upgrade you know update from uh the astro team here they've done a, a great job with the ether ether and footer now let's have a look at the footer builder it works in the same way you still have the three different uh level here that you can actually add uh, a widget by clicking on the plus icon and you have more or less the you know the same uh functions Let's go and put the footer here for example let's go and publish that and let's have a look how it looks with the actual menu but again I don't think I got the menu installed here so let's remove that and let's put something different uh, let's say social again uh, we go copyright and social here so that's the copyright and the social gonna be here 
So let's do this here now. And as you can see, we got the icons. Now, if you want the social on the same si side of the copyright, you got to do it like this. And as you can see, you got the copyright on the left and the social on the right. Again, we go back, refresh, and that's supposed to be done properly. And as you can see, it's very simple, easy to use. And as I said, guys, if you want something ready to use, you know, if you need a website fast, Astra is the right template. You can use the free version or you can, want, you know, if you want to, you can go and have the extras. Don't forget that you can get quite good. Uh, let's go to the pricing. Again, this is not sponsored. I don't, I'm not getting paid and also is not affiliate. So what you see, you know, is because I really believe this template is a great template, especially with the latest update. You can have the agency, uh, $199 is the Astra Pro. I think this one is for one website. No, it looks like there's a limited website usage on all of it. That's fantastic. Uh, I believe these are fantastic, you know, for $41 on unlimited usage. I believe this is based on your personal websites, of course, and you can have the lifetime. 174 for unlimited for your own. As again, guys, it's fantastic. The agency bundles 559 is a little bit deep. If you only have one website, you know, yeah, I would go for, you know, the, the, the Astra Pro rather than the agency. There are differences, as you can see here, you get a little bit more, you can get Convert Pro, Plugin, Schema Pro, Skilljet Academy, and so on and so forth. Anyway, guys, thanks again for uh, uh, stand, you know, coming by and watching my video. I'll see you next time.